Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Omega. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. So in today's video, I want to give you guys 10 tips and tricks on how to hopefully improve your game within Modern Warfare. Now, trust me, I understand how difficult this game can be. When I first started, I felt like I was just a horrible player overall, but after applying a lot of these tips, I found that I started to get a lot better and started to kind of understand how this game actually plays out. So if you guys find that any of these tips help you or if you just enjoy the video in general, please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. We are closing in on one thousand subscribers which i'm really hoping to hit sometime in the next month or so so again thank you guys for all of the recent support but yeah let's get right into the first tip all right guys so we're going to start in the settings in this first tip because i feel like a lot of people don't have the correct settings when it comes to modern warfare personally i feel like having a high sensitivity definitely makes you a better player in this game if you can get to that point where you're using eight or nine horizontal stick sensitivity with like a seven or eight vertical stick i feel like you're going to be a lot better than if you stick with the lower sensitivities if you guys don't know what sensitivity you normally use or what would work best for you in this game just go into a private match and try to find two points on the map that you can kind of aim into and try to see if you can kind of like snap between those points really quickly if you feel like that you're going too far over the two points that you picked then your sensitivity is probably too high and you're going to want to lower that if you're not actually hitting the point or it's just going way too slow obviously you want to get to that point where you can raise sensitivity so you can quickly snap between targets also it might be a good idea to mess around with your ads sensitivity so for my low zoom sensitivity which is basically for any scope that's below a 3.25 I use 1.3 and it's kind of just a little bit of a multiplier so that when I do aim in I can quickly snap between targets uh, for the high zoom I just use a 1.06 this doesn't really make a huge difference and this is only for scopes after the 3.25 multiplier I would also recommend just turning off motion blur on your weapon as well as the world around you. I think motion blur makes it a lot harder to see people, especially at farther range. So if you're playing something like you know 20v20 or ground war, it's going to be very difficult to see people at farther ranges when you have motion blur on. Another setting I would definitely disable or just make zero is the film grain. And the reason why I disable this or just put it down to zero is because a lot of people will hide out in grass or in bushes or in weird corners of the map and turning the film grain to zero actually makes it easier to see these people. So if you turn this all the way up and you looked at a bush, it would look, you know, you could see the individual leaves. It would look really pretty, but it would also be harder to see someone if they were laying in that bush. So I just turned this down to zero. It makes it a lot easier to see people, especially on maps that have a lot of like woods or grass, stuff like that. And you guys can see in this example right here, it does kind of make a difference when you turn this down to zero in terms of the quality. So now let's get into some gameplay tips, which I definitely think will help a lot of you guys out. So I see a lot of people running weird guns and weird attachments on the bigger and smaller maps and game modes. And this is something that is a small change that will probably help you out a lot in your play style and just getting more kills and dying less within Modern Warfare. So on big maps, obviously you're gonna wanna use assault rifles. Assault rifles are key in this game. I think they're probably the most meta thing in this game right now. SMGs can work on bigger maps, but you wanna have attachments that emphasize size on range and damage um, like ARs working on big maps ARs can also work on small maps but if you're using an AR on a small map you want to have attachments that emphasize on aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed that means you can actually rush around and it doesn't take you 10 years to pull out your gun and start shooting you know you want to have as much speed time as possible to aim down sights or just sprint to fire to be able to take out enemies a lot faster another problem that I see with a lot of people is so many people are still running frag in semtex grenades which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me because there's so much better equipment in this game and frag and semtexes seem to be the most random equipment that you could possibly have and by random i mean it doesn't always guarantee you a kill claymores if you pick the right spot then you can probably always get a kill with a claymore c4 you're basically just tossing it into a room and setting it off it's a lot more controlled and stable and you'll end up getting a lot more kills if you run different equipment rather than grenades personally i love running c4 i think c4 is probably one of the most underrated equipments in modern warfare right now just because i don't think a lot of people ever really used it in other call of duties i remember like in modern warfare 3 c4 was amazing and i I think it kind of fell off after that game, but in Modern Warfare, if you can utilize C4 and run around and actually get a ton of kills with it, it's super easy to clear out rooms, especially if you're playing Ground War, 20v20, even 6v6 if you want to get that pesky sniper and he's just in a room filled with claymores and traps, then you're going to want to throw a C4 in there. And it makes it so much easier to clear out important objectives that your team actually needs to get to, and you can get a ton of kills doing it. It's pretty easy kills. Now moving on from that, this is also kind of a general tip that I have for you guys, but this is also a huge tip that many people don't even think about when playing this game. 
that tip is to stop sprinting as much. Sprinting gets you killed more times than probably anything else in this game. Even if you're just sitting in a room and you start to sprint, most likely someone is going to be aiming down sights with their assault rifle, their shotgun, waiting for you to just peek around the corner so they can shoot you. Having your gun ready and available to you to either just aim down sights and shoot someone or just quickly pull out a shotgun and get a kill is the most important thing and sprinting is going to make that process a lot longer and will probably fuck you up in the long run. So try to just hold down certain areas and peek through windows. I know this is like the worst thing that you could possibly tell the community to do, but this is a very campy Call of Duty game and, and playing with a rush play style will get you killed so many times unless you do it right. Unless you're perfect at rushing and you know exactly where the enemies are and you have very good control with your weapon it's probably going to be much easier for you to get kills when you're holding down certain objectives. Now, I don't say that you should just camp in a quarter with Claymore surrounding and it takes you like 15 minutes just to get a five kill streak, but try to hold down areas of the map where you can get different viewpoints of the enemy. And you can kind of switch between these areas and rotate around to try to get different angles on the enemies. That way they don't know exactly where you are, but they do kind of have a general idea. You can still do really well with the strategy, moving around to different focal points on the map. And another thing that I like to do when I'm doing this is I kind of like to do a switch and bait tactic and so what I do is I go into a building I'll kind of hold it down for maybe two or three kills and then I'll put claymores all around the building and then rotate to another area and this has been a super effective strategy because obviously if you get killed from a guy in a building more than one time you're gonna be pissed and your next objective is going to be to try to kill that guy but if you have claymores in that area and you already left and you're on a different part of the map it's just basically free kills because you know everyone is going to be targeting that area that you once were. Now let's quickly talk about perks because I see so many people using Hardline. And obviously Hardline is a fan favorite. It makes it so all of your kill streaks require one less kill. But in the grand scheme of things, one kill really doesn't make that much of a difference. If you look at the other perk twos that are available, such as Ghost, Kill Chain, Point Man, there's a lot of other perks that will help you get kill streaks that are so much better in the long run. If you guys are trying to get high kill games and you literally just want to spam out kill streaks, try Kill Chain or Point Man to help you get your streaks faster. Kill Chain basically brings it back to the older Call of Duty style where kill streak kills will count towards your next kill streak. So if you get a Predator missile and you get two kills with that, then you'll have two more kills towards your next kill streak. And this makes it obviously super easy because once you get that, you know, the VTOL in the air, Basically, all of the killstreaks after that are just going to come probably from the VTOL if it doesn't get shot down. Point Man is kind of the similar perk. Uh, instead of letting your killstreaks kills count towards your next killstreaks, this turns all of your killstreaks into score streaks. Now, I'm not sure if you're actually able to get multiple of these streaks each game because obviously you don't have to stay alive to utilize Point Man. Even if you die, as long as you get that score, you're going to get that streak regardless in the game. But I don't think that you can get multiple streaks just because I feel like that would be a little bit unfair. There's also a new update that happened, I think, the other day that now allows you to pick between two different field upgrades and Instead of just sticking with one and i think this is huge because now you can actually choose in a situation which field upgrade you want to use and personally before i would always kind of switch back between uh, ammunition box and stopping power personally i think stopping power is really good especially if you have a weapon that has an extremely high uh, ammo capacity such as most SMGs um, and obviously the ammunition box is important when you are running low on equipment or just ammo in general and you don't want to use scavenger both of those at the same time when you actually have a choice between the two are so deadly and they work so goddamn well so next time you're in a game try out some of these perks try out some of these weapons and also try out definitely these field upgrades because I think they will help you improve so much and then finally guys this is the last tip and this is something that you can actually do when you're not playing so say you know before you go to bed or maybe if you're bored at work and you want to watch this but this is a tip that I have used all of my life in video games and I think it is probably one of the best ways to improve in any game or anything that you're doing and that's to watch someone else who is better than you and try to predict what they're going to be doing. Now, what I mean by this is there's a lot of other YouTubers on this platform that post full game commentaries that are really good, that are always getting high kills and kill streaks. And what I tend to do and what I especially did when this game first came out is I would go onto their streams or their videos and I would watch their videos and I would try to predict exactly what they were going to be doing. So say they're going to be rushing into a building. I would, you know, tell myself, okay, I think they're going to take out their shotgun and they're going to look left and there's probably going to be a guy there and they're going to kill him and if that doesn't happen i see what they do differently 
and then I can learn from what I probably would have done within that game if I was the one playing. And what this does is it basically kind of trains yourself to do certain things at certain points in time when you're playing in real life. It's almost like you don't even think about doing it, but if you program your brain to specifically not make mistakes that other people normally do, which normally gets them killed, that will help you so much in your lifetime of playing games, and I can promise you that you will definitely become a better player in no time. If you guys want examples of people to watch, uh, I usually watch Dismo, Korean Savage, Swag. There's a lot of really good YouTubers. Just type in Modern Warfare Nuke and just watch these Nuke videos because these guys fucking go off in people's spawns. They just murder everyone and following that tactic and just kind of trying to predict what they're going to be doing and learning from their mistakes as well as your own mistakes is going to be the best way to actually improve in this game. Well, that's basically all of the time I have for today. I just want to let you guys know that once again, uh, we are really close to hitting 1,000 subscribers. Uh, as of right now, I think we're about 150 subscribers away, so if you guys are not already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out so much, and as well, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed, or if you found any of these tips useful. I'm going to be trying to post at least every other day for Modern Warfare, and trying to get more of these tip videos out to you guys. But thank you guys for watching, I'll see you all next time, have a great day, peace out.